<clears throat> in this video i am going to uh, show you how you can download live usb and use it with uh, your ide so first of all <coughs> you will search for live usb and then you will get uh, the official page of live usb at the front you click on it then you can see a download uh, button if you click on the <coughs> latest window binaries it will uh, start the download i have already downloaded that file uh, let me show you this one so uh, when you download the zip file extract it and then after extracting uh, this file to a folder this one you will get uh, such uh, folders now let me start the IDE I'm doing it on uh, Dev C++ now I will uh, first open it up I will copy the source code from example and place it in the new folder now as you can see I have opened the file now I will show you the possible errors that can occur one by one now if I click on compile so the first error is leave usb dot h no such file or directory so to resolve such issue we will open the include leave usb 1.0 and then we will copy this file to our project folder and paste it now if we run it again compile you'll see the error message changed now it says undefined reference it will happen if you don't link the static library file with this project it, this function is actually uh, declared but the method is not defined that's why this message is shown so actually the function definition is always stored in a library file so if you uh, if you have to in include the library there are two folders you can see mini gw32 mini gw64 there are also other like a vs this is for visual studio i am using uh, mini gw32 uh, let me show you if i open the compiler option if i go to programs you can see that the make is mini gw32 so i will open that mini gw32 go with static and then i'll copy this library file to the project folder now the next thing that i have to do is i have to add it here but before that uh, i have to change it from there because I am using a 32 bit so I have to select that profile okay so as I am using 32 bit so I have to first select that profile and then I have to add the name of the file that I have added the name of the library now there will be another error I will show it to you now if I click on compile then you can see that there are zero errors okay so 
it's fine uh, okay then if I click on run it's taking some time yeah the dot exe file is there and it is running yeah it is it is successful so actually uh, I've tested it before but it gave an error so uh, let me see let me show you the possibilities that which can let to error uh, actually if you don't include the libusb here I think which might work is if I don't give it there and use it in case of directories if I just add the directories okay. there I, and if I click on add and then compile it Oh, it is giving some error the error is it is still not able to find it so adding it only in libraries is actually not sufficient you also have to add it there uh, let me copy and paste so the thing is that if you don't have the library file in that folder let me show you with an example let me cut it out and uh, paste it outside the folder now if I do the same thing again I forgot to copy the name of it Now if you click on compile, you will see there is again a message, the leave user one point a no such file or directory. Now this happens because I have, means the folder does not have that library file. Now to solve the issue, let me create a new folder. Let's name it xyz. And I move the file to that folder. then if I click on compile and if I delete this file okay I, I made a mistake I actually added it in, in binaries actually it would be present in libraries I had to add it in libraries I mistakenly uh, added it in binaries let me fix this one wait let me delete okay now I think it will work fine Hmm. Okay. So uh Okay, just leave it. I think it works. Oh, and the dot a file or library file is in the project folder. Okay. If I just move it in the project folder and try the same thing, it will not give any error. See, zero errors. Okay, so it works fine uh, if it is present in the same directory. And you have to mind one thing if I use the same thing with 64 bit release, it will also give error. See, you have to configure again. 
even if I configure it with the same thing for 64 bit release it won't work let me show you see so as I am using a 32 bit library with a 32 bit uh, maker file so I have to use everything 32 32 bit okay so now if you have any queries you can ask in the comment section if you have any doubt and I'll try to add other uh, cover other parts of this libs section later so thank you for watching bye